This video is published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the clamp here and adjusting the the clamp. If, it, if it's if it's too snug, it goes down kind of tight. It's, it's easy to, to check it. Just to remove this belt and do that. Just kind of pull up on. You got to remove this top crown first, and we got videos on that if you don't know how. But um, you can just pull up on this and then rotate it with this cutter unplugged. Pull up, rotate, pull up, rotate. Well, it will okay, eventually come off. And then you can check how snug it is by... This should flow pretty freely and smoothly. If it's This one's kind of stiff. So I want to adjust it to where this motor don't have to work so hard. Sometimes they, they have a tendency to get stuck possibly if it's, if it's too stiff. And there's an easy way to adjust it. Let's come around back to do that. Okay, this one's kind of stiff so I'm going to adjust it. First thing you're going to do is look at this bolt down here. And you're going to rotate it and you can see every so often you'll see grooves there. And there's a groove there and you see these tabs up here this is the washer above with tabs that you can bend down and there's, there's three tabs in a row right there looks like there's another another groove right there in the bolt or nut I guess it would be there's another groove right there you're looking for the one where it's got a tab bent down into it and there it is there's another groove right there in the nut and and that tab has been bent down in there and the easiest way to first you gotta pull that tab out you know there's a chance yours never got bent down in there so if that's the case um, then you can you don't have to pull this out you don't have to pull the tab out but you're gonna need a very thin flat screwdriver and the best way to get this tab bent up if it's bent down into that groove is find the side of it where it's got the biggest gap and on this case it's right there and tap it in there with the hammer as far as it go and then just pry it out you can see that thing that tunnel if you can see that tab is starting to come out a little bit And there it is, that tab is up now, it's not in there. See, it's, it's bent up now. And now I can take this and um, I'm going to use a, a, a tab like this where there's no, none of those, or an indention right there into the nut. Well, there's no tabs hanging by, it's easier. But um, I'm going to put this off to the side a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this um, about a quarter of a turn, eighth of a turn, something like that, until this is spinning freely. And um, to do that, you want to do this, it'd be clockwise. You're going to loosen this nut here clockwise, and it's pretty stiff, so you're going to put a flat screwdriver, a larger one, right into that, and you're going to hit it. But you're going to need someone to hold this, because this will just spin if you, if you, if you don't get someone holding it. And do, see, there's some play in it right there, just a play from where you're going to have to take the play out of it before you do this. So you're going to want to turn this counter against which way. You're going to be going that way, turning that way, loosen it, so the other way you need to turn that this way until you feel it, feel it snug and then have somebody hold it because you're kind of putting counter pressure against it while you hit this so this don't turn on you and you can watch these threads down here to make sure they don't turn because if they turn when you hit this then you're not loosening it it's just the whole thing's turning so if someone's going to hold it and put some pressure on it you basically turn this one counterclockwise until until you feel it lock and then hold it and this one we're going to be hitting this way to go clockwise with it there, move just a hair. You want to go about an eighth of a turn to a quarter of a turn. I'm going to check it now after doing that. It's still a little stiff. I'm going to go a little more with it. I'm going to go about a quarter of a turn. That went pretty good. Now, now it's nice and easy. It's just very easy to turn, two fingers, very smooth and easy. Okay, now the next thing I need to do, I need to bend a tab down, but you got to look at this. you got to see if there's any one of these tabs in there. In this case, um, there's that. There's these tabs here, and there's the notch to bend into, and it's not quite it. you either got to go back one way or go forward with it a little bit. And I think I'll go forward with it a little bit to... You're going to have to hold it again for me. I'm going to go a little more forward to get... That's too far. There, okay, hold it right there. Now I'm gonna go this way. I need to get to that next tab. And there it is, it lined up perfectly with that tab. And it's gonna take this flat screwdriver and bend that tab down into that groove on that nut. And you gotta go sideways too to make sure it gets in there. And hammer it all the way in there. That way this 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 um, nut don't turn and get tight on you again as you use the machine. But now this thing is free flowing, it's nice and easy. And that's basically it. Um, this video was public. You can put this back on the same way. Just rotate it on. 
pretty simple to do. This video is published by mbkpinternational.com.